Fire in the hole, let's cook a steak. Stay tuned. Okay, so, so hear me out, hear me out. I know it sounds crazy, but the other night I was having a dream and I dreamed I was cooking a ribeye steak in a cast iron pan and basting it with butter. So I told my wife the next day, I said, you know what, let's go to the meat market. And she says, what for? And I said, well, I just want to look, you know, I just want to look at some stuff, I want to get some sausage maybe. You know, I want to look at some, look at what they got, you know. So we go to the meat market and I, on the way there, I told her about my dream. Of course, she said I'm crazy, which I am. Maybe I am. Everybody dreams, right? But I don't always dream of food. I don't always dream of steak. You know, most of the time it's, you know, if it's a good dream, I'm riding a motorcycle. And if it's a bad dream, you know, I'm being harangued by some idiot. But uh, I went to the meat market and I, I saw these awesome ribeye steaks. Look at these. Look at the marbling on that. This is not a prime steak. This is just a, this is just a steak, just a choice steak. Look at the marbling on that thing. Look how thick it is. Is that beautiful? So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cook the steak of my dreams, right from my dream. So let me, uh, I got my cast iron pan on the fire getting hot. I wanna get it up to at least 400 degrees. Let me prep up one of these ribeyes and, uh, We'll cook a steak, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got my cast iron pan on the fire getting hot. I want it to get up to about 400 degrees. I picked up this one to do first because I just like the looks of it. We're gonna get some Sang stir fry oil on it. We're also gonna put some of this in the frying pan. I gotta get the butter ready. We're gonna wet this down with some Sangs. Lucky for me, it started to rain. Isn't that wonderful? And I've got this uh, butcher salt and pepper that I'm going to uh, season the steak with real well. A really well seasoned steak. Want to get plenty of that butcher salt and pepper on there. A good layer of seasoning on my steak, both sides. Looking pretty good. And the edges too, if possible. Okay, let's flip that over. Press that down a bit. Flip her over, get some sangs on the other side. I've got some rosemary and thyme and some garlic that I smashed standing by. I'm gonna uh, wet this down. Get some of that salt, pepper on there. No garlic, there's garlic right there. I can't believe it's raining, it's not supposed to rain today. Anyway, we're gonna keep going and hope the rain doesn't hit my frying pan and break it. All right, so I got my steak seasoned. I'm gonna let that sit a minute while my uh, frying pan comes up to temperature. And then we're gonna start this cook. So stay tuned. Okay, my cast iron pan is screaming hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of Sang stir fry oil in the pan. It's so hot the oil won't stick because it's uh, the nice thing about it is that's uh, cotton seed oil, the high, high smoke point oil. I'm going to take my steak and sear the uh, meat, the, the fat, off the steak. Put some of that steak fat in there. Some of that Sang's oil. You know that Sang's has got that beautiful garlic flavor? Oh man, you can really smell it. Yeah, I just want to get some of that fat seared off of there. Then I'm going to drop my pan in the, in the fire. My steak, rather. There it is. We're gonna throw in some butter for basting. Whoops, oh, I don't believe I did that. Ha oh, ha, boy, that's a mistake. That's for the blooper reel, that's one for the blooper reel, folks. That's <laughs> okay, I got more butter, it's okay. Here's more butter. Here's some garlic. Garlic, that thing is hot, let me tell you why. Here's the rosemary and thyme. Going to get them in there. My steak is getting seared off nicely. Not exactly what my dream portent is. I need more butter. We need more butter because we have to baste it. This is the part of my dream 
where I was basting the steak with butter out of the pan like that. There you go. My dream just came true right there. And we're gonna keep a, keep an eye on the temperature of that steak. We don't want it to get above 120. All right, yes. Getting it done, buddy. Getting it done. Basting. Basting, gotta flip them over. Time to flip them. Get them flipped over. Oh man, how does that look? <laughs> Looks amazing. Got that rosemary and thyme and all that butter. We gotta baste it. This is the part of my dream that I remember. Basting the steak. Basting, basting, basting. There you go. Oh man. That's what I'm talking about. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna make that the thumbnail right there. Let me get my temperature probe, which is soaking wet. We don't want to get above 120 on this internal. We're only at 65 degrees, so we've got a ways to go. We're gonna flip it again. Flip it over again. Baste it with that butter. That's a whole stick of butter. Basting, basting, basting. That's the part of my dream that I remember. What do you think about that? Basting with butter. Oh man. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. That one piece of garlic got pretty, pretty brown. That's okay, it's brown and butter. My veggies are getting brown too, but they're gonna look good on the presentation. Let's check the temp on that steak. It's only at 100 degrees, we got a ways to go. Let them cook a while, move them around a little bit. Get some of that butter, baste them. Baste them with that brown butter. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. That's my dream. My dream just came true, except for the weather. Let's flip them again. Oh yeah. I think that's the thumbnail right there. Let me zoom in on that. And get a... Uh, take a photo of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that steak is nearly done. Check his temperature. No, he's got a ways to go. Got a ways to go. He's at 127 right there, but I want him to be 120 in the middle. That's where the that's where it's going to be at. Okay, my steak is nearly done. Let's uh, plate this thing up. Let's get it, finish it up. Plate it up. We'll get a beer. We'll take a taste. Stay tuned. My steak is done. I'm let it, I let it rest before I sliced it, and it is juicy and beautiful as it can be. Medium rare. Here's today's beer. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug. Pabst Blue Ribbon. I've come to begin to really like Pabst Blue Ribbon a lot. I've gotten to, uh, I've gotten to really have a respect for it. It's a little foamy, a little foamy. It's okay. That's how they pour them in England. A lot of foam, Rob. They like a lot of foam in England. But this is an American beer. Pabst Blue Ribbon. What a mess I made. And I gotta clean it up. Okay. Yeah. That's a good beer, Rob. Pap Flu Ribbon. Can't be beat. Best good with a steak, you know what I'm saying? A good old American, all-American beer with an all-American steak. Rob, let's quaff the froth off it, baby. It's about time, don't you think? Ah, that's excellent. Let me get my uh, steak over here. Let me get the camera turned around I'll take a taste of this stay tuned all right my steak is done and it's beautiful let me show it to you it's a perfect medium rare I think I can't wait to get a piece of this in my mouth it looks and smells awesome I've been letting it rest look at that what do you think of that does that look good wow Ladies and gentlemen, I have no words for this. 
Mmm. It's delicious. Wow. You know what? They say that dreams don't come true. I'm living proof of that. That was my dream. And it came true. A steak and a beer? What could be better? Let me get a swig of that. Ah, that's delicious. That steak was amazing. Uh, I had a little rain squall right in the middle of it. Kind of a problem, but we, we lived through it. And I need to get my cast iron pan off the fire before it really gets messed up. You can see it smoking behind me. Anyway, that's my video, babies. That was the steak of my dreams. I'm going to go devour that thing right now. I can't. I want some more of it. Anyway, it was delicious. That's the way to cook a steak in a cast iron pan. It has no peer. Dan, why don't you get some bison steaks, get a cast iron pan, and get, get busy with it, baby. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's my video, babies. You know what I always say? I always say if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, I'm going to send you over to my buddy, SJ. His name is Sal, like mine. And he just cooked the steak too. I haven't watched his steak video yet. I haven't had a chance. But I'll tell you what, if it's anywhere as good as mine, he's got a winner. So babies, that's my video anyway. Uh, we'll see you next week, okay babies? Bye!